Happy day, I'm Gloom, and welcome to the stream. Today we are playing the new downloadable content for 60 seconds. This is the Catomic update. I'm trying to get either the Mad Scientist ending or the Cat Lady ending. Um, I got to know a little bit about the game so that you guys don't get frustrated, and I don't get frustrated while I'm doing this. Also, I got a ton of ramen today. I haven't had, I've been doing like this new year, new me, kind of thing, and I haven't been eating cookies in bed, having ramen, um, or just like kind of having any bad food in particular for at least 21 days now. It has been hell, but uh, I mean, my skin looks good, but it's not worth it. I I'm just, I'm miserable. Let's uh, get right into the game. Whenever the people eat in the game, I will be eating as well. And um, just so I don't waste too much of you guys' time, I'm not gonna do Sarbama the first go around. I'm not, so familiar with this update yet that I can just like win. So I I'm just kind of deciding between Fat Man and Little Boy. I really think I kind of want to do Little Boy. Just so I can get the ending I want, but that feels like kind of a cop out. So we're gonna do Fat Man, we're gonna do normal. Let's begin our adventure. I do know for the cat update that you need a lot of soup. I want a lot of cats, so I'm getting a lot of soup. Uh, do I want to bring Mary Jane? Uh, I gotta decide. Okay, can, where is everything? Where is everything? Okay, there's a lot of soup right there. I need a flashlight. I need a lot of soup. I'm obviously gonna grab Timmy because Timmy is my boy. Uh, we're gonna get this water here just because I don't see myself getting much water later. I'm gonna get soup there. I'm gonna throw it in the shelter. Okay, okay, throw it in the shelter. We're good. Let's get more soup. Should I get Mary Jane? I don't know! Uh, okay, we're gonna get the flashlight in this room. We're never gonna go in this room again. Get out of the way. Oh, I don't wanna get stuck on anything. That would be a disaster. Okay, I need to get my wife because for the cat lady ending, I need my wife. I'm gonna get the water, the soup. There's the radio right there. I gotta get the radio. Actually, I'm not gonna get the radio. I'm gonna get the poison. I'm not gonna do the military ending, so I'm not gonna get the radio because I've done that before and we're not doing it again. Uh, da -da 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 map. Do we need the map? I don't know. We need the Boy Scout book. I know that for show. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Can I fit it? I can't! I can't! I need, I need that medkit, I need that medkit, I need it, I need it, I, I'm, I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna do the Hail Mary, Mother of God, please! I don't know if I have time to grab anything else! Uh, I'm gonna get the gun, I'm gonna get the gun! Yes! Okay. Ugh, oh, how much soup did we get? How much soup did we get? Okay, I'm like, I'm like sweating because I want to eat this ramen so bad. I like took a picture eating it in the thumbnail. But I wasn't allowed to chew it or swallow it. I'm dying. Okay, what do we have in? Okay, we've got a lot of soup here. We're gonna need a lot more. I didn't get the gas mask. Ah! We need the gas mask. We need the gas mask. We're restarting. We need. The gas mask. I was like, oh, do I need like the flashlight or blah, blah, blah. But like, we need the gas mask. We're starting again. Bear with me. It's gonna be a good run. We're gonna get at least one of the endings that we want unless our luck is just so bad that there's nothing I can do about it. But I'm determined. I fancy, I feel like I'm pretty good at this game. So we're gonna do the most stressful part again. Okay, the med kit is right freaking there. Timmy is in there. So I'm gonna go here, do a little drive by through here. It's gonna be beautiful. You ready? I'm ready. Uh, okay, we're gonna go in here, and then we're gonna get Timmy, and then we're gonna get two soups. Come on, this, there's lots of soup in here. Lot oh shit, that's all the room I have for. Uh, uh, and I was just saying I'm good at this game. Uh, okay, well, then we're gonna go back. Gas mask. Gun. Oh no, I'm getting distracted by other things in other rooms. Okay, we're just gonna throw that in there. Okay, and we're gonna go back into this room and get all the soup in the world, all the soup in the world, all the soup in the world. We need the soup because the cats get hungry. No, I didn't mean to get that water, but that's fine. I'm gonna get my wife because I need the wife for the cat ending. I need the Boy Scout book. Where's the Boy Scout book? Oh my goodness, there's just never enough time. There's never enough time. Okay, we're gonna get the flashlight in here and the Boy Scout book is right here as well. And then we're gonna do a final run and see what else we can get. Oh, uh, it's getting kind of low on time. I can't take Mary Jane, she takes up too many spots. Ah, okay. Can I get Mary Jane? Do we have time? Mary, let's go! It's pretty loud. Uh, okay. That went well. Sorry. Did I forget anything? I didn't bring the map. I don't believe I need the map. I don't think I need it. I got the map. 
Okay, we got everything we need. We've got not as much soup as I needed, but we've got everyone. We've got the gas mask, and we're gonna be able to go out and get as many things as possible. Okay, I didn't get the map. We have it right here. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. It's only day one. Let's be cool. We've got plenty of water. Nobody is going to eat or drink until day five, but everybody's gonna eat and drink every five days. So somebody has to constantly be going out to get us supplies. Huh, <sighs> why don't you have the radio? I don't have the radio because I don't wanna do the military ending. The problem with not getting, I didn't get the radio or the checkers board though, which is a huge problem because my guys might go insane. So I need to get the cat in here before the game ends. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to send our baby, our little baby Timmy out, and he's gonna go with the gas mask and try to get us something. He's really good at getting things. Wait a minute, what is this? We woke up today feeling very uncomfortable. It was like something or someone or something was watching us. We could have sworn we noticed a movement in the shadows. If anything besides us is alive in the bunker, it's time to teach us it's time to teach it who's boss around here. Okay, so I haven't played this game in so long. I don't remember if this is something that's gonna get us sick. I don't wanna break my gun already because I intend on being in here for at least 50 days. So I think I'm just gonna risk it. I think I'm just gonna risk it and leave it alone. Hopefully nobody gets sick. If somebody gets sick, we are screwed. Okay, everybody's fine. Everything is fine. This is perfect. Timmy's looking very happy. This is what I'm happy about. Oh no. One of our cans of soup is gone. We need so much soup to make this work. If there's one thing we need, it's water for Dolores. Sorry, bitch, you're waiting until day five at least. I need day five, I need to eat my noodles like they're getting cold. Okay, it's a good day to go outside. Timmy, please, take the gas mask and make your mama proud. Please come back, oh, I should have sent actually, I should have sent the girl. Should have sent our sweet pea Mary here, but. That's fine, hopefully he comes back. Timmy went out into the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. I don't know what I'll do either. We just need to get to day five, so I need to eat and drink. <sighs> I'm dying. We've been busy since we got to the shelter, but there's still so much to be done, like trimming the shrubbery in our yard. Okay, a nuclear bomb went off. You really don't need to be thinking about gardening right now or pruning. Mary Jane, yeah, she's going out. Also for the cat lady ending, um. If I get close to it, it's going to get rather dark because she needs to be the only person in this bunker and you know what that means. Get out of here, fly! All right, our relocation is probably something we'll be able to discuss after we get out of here. Sure, Mary Jane keeps fainting. Well, today is food and drink day! I probably should have, uh, I probably should have given Timmy, uh, some food and drink before he left. Holy shit! That is so good. We've got cockroaches, it's fine. Boy Scout book, done deal. I wanna eat more ramen, but I'm just too excited to see what's going on. I hope that Timmy comes back. I Sometimes I feel like I should feed these guys before I send them out. All right, so the, the Boy Scout book, the trusty, beautiful Boy Scout book, it always, it always comes in clutch, it's reusable, it never breaks to my knowledge, so I'm happy about that. I just really, we need Timmy to come back. We need him to come back. Please, let's hear the door, let's hear the door. This music is new. That's how you know, the update installed. Good for us, okay. We need more soup, we need more soup. We're playing the silent game and it's not working. Everybody is getting a little bit, everybody's getting a little bit stressed out and I'm very, very nervous that we don't have a radio or, I should have at least got a deck of cards. Okay. Yep, we don't have no radio, so we can't tune in and see what's going on, unfortunately. The radio also came with a supply drop, so we don't get that supply drop. We're gonna need to go out and get as much things as possible. Okay, so I'm not seeing any messages here about Timmy being dead. So I'm assuming he's coming back. We need to use a radio. Well, then maybe someone should go out and get one. It's day eight. Wait. We plan to go to Niagara Falls and see those beautiful waterfalls. We never expected to get a waterfall of our own in our own shelter. Right now, it seems that half a dozen pipes burst and that water is pouring right into our bunker. We need to save our supplies. Ah! This run 
is not looking good right now. We can repair the map, I think, with the Boy Scout book eventually. It's all we can do right now. And I just can't have anybody getting sick. Or should I, should I do a Hail Mary and just risk it and not cover the hole? No, I can't do it. We need to sacrifice the map and we need to scavenge more. I wish I could- Oh! Timmy! Timmy, 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 Timmy! And he's okay, the gas mask is broken, but look at all the soup that boy brought home. So, negative one map, because we use the map to fix our problem. Eh! We got two soups, and one water. That's it, Timmy? That's it. It's only day nine, so it's a really bad thing that our gas mask is broken. I'm gonna send Mary Jane- I think that Mary Jane is going to be the first person to die, unfortunately. I know it's only day nine, but I'm feeding Timmy because he was a good boy, and he did some good work. Yes, we're going on an expedition tomorrow, and we don't have a radio. How do you get the cat ending? I'm about to find out, um, if I didn't screw up too badly. We have no clue of what's going on. There's skull drawings. We're dreaming about laying on the beach. All right, food. Water, food cam. I want to show these guys my. I want to show these guys my lovely little. Uh, food cam, food cam, food cam. <laughs> I want to show these guys my lovely little pot stickers. Look at these. Look at these pot stickers. They look so good. I made like a little garlic dip with them. I got extra needles. Don't get too close. I hate ASMR like so much. I hate like the. Oh. I meant food camp for the food! Food camp for food! We're feeling pretty optimistic about today's expedition. Good. Mary? Should we give her something to go with? A gun? No. No, unfortunately. Mary, you're going empty handed, but girl, you got big hands, and I know you're gonna come in clutch. So get out there and be somebody! Bring us lots of extra things. I'm so nervous. The radiation, I mean, it's only day 11, right? So the radiation is still pretty bad, but we'll see. Okay, I'm still good on my eating and drinking. Okay, yeah, I know we're missing sunshine, but we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. I have hope. I'm not gonna give up. Man, you need to get to day 50 to- ah, Okay. Whew, we're good. Timmy is doing just fine. We're not rationing supplies today. Oh no, what's going on now? There's, ne there's never a good time to go out into the radioactive wasteland, but it seems this will become a necessity in this new world of ours. We thought it would be a good idea to make this happen sooner rather than later, and plan a trip outside. Before we could make the third step beyond the shelter doors, an unknown creature started growling at us in the darkness. We had only moments to decide what to do. Alright, so are we gonna have cats and dogs in our shelter? Can you get the cat ending? If we have pancake in our shelter, this is not something that I know yet. Should I? Mm, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Yeah, we got pancake boy. Um, we need to give him the med kit, so that's where that is going. We just need a lot of soup for these cats. All right. We decided to check what's going on with our flashlight. It's a dog, of course. Our baby pancake. The pancake escape is going. But we're not gonna do old endings because we're trying to get the new ones. It's only day 13, nobody's eating or drinking yet. Timmy got back from the shelter and looked fine, but it turned out he'd hurt his hand on a piece of rusty metal. Now we have to make an important decision here. Is Timmy gonna die to infection? Or who's gonna, who is gonna benefit? Pancake or Timmy? Pancake has been known to go out and get things. But Timmy is so clutch. I kind of feel like we should give up on the pancake dream and keep going on the cat dream. I mean, Timmy looks fine. Look at him. Ah! Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait it out for a sec. If he gets sicker, we'll use the med kit on him. You can't have both. All right. The best medicine for any sickness or injury is to clench your teeth and ignore it. That's what I'm talking about. It's the apocalypse. We don't. Oh boy, he's getting sick. Oh, I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. All right, please don't be sick. She's not sick. What did you bring, girl? What did you bring? What did you bring? What did you bring? Gas mask and a map. 
That's pretty good. That is pretty good, so guess who's going out? Our boy Timmy. We need more soup. Oh, we didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop, yet here we are, and we can clearly hear a phone ringing outside. It must be the public- okay, so this is the twins. Should someone go answer it? I don't know. I guess so. I don't know. I don't really- I don't really want the twins out. Ah! Okay, we're gonna go and check the phone. I mean, what's it- what's it gonna do to us? Is it gonna hurt us? Probably not. Mary Jane is okay. And this is looking okay. I forgot to eat my food. God damn it. Mary Jane is quite hungry. That's fine, girl. You can- wait. Did we feed Timmy? We're going on an expedition. Unfortunately, the kids can't go. And a cat isn't here. Like, everyone can die if a cat gets here. We might have to send Ted. We stumbled upon the remains of a ban bandit shantytown. Someone or something tore it down. Incidentally, amidst the rubble, we found a cat licking its paws nonchalantly, surrounded by blood and dismembered limbs. As we made our way back to the shelter, the cat followed. We can now hear its paws impatiently scratching on our hat. Should we let it inside? Yes! Absolutely! We got the cat, boy. There he is! Okay, this is starting to look- okay, this is starting to look up, but we need more soup. When we opened the cat- when we opened the hatch, the cat jumped in and marched around the whole shelter, sniffing all of us every wall, corner, empty soup can, and piece of furniture. Finally, it picked a quiet place, sat down, and let out a deep sigh before taking a 12-hour nap, as cats do. Its collar has Sherikov etched into it. What kind of name is that? Sherikov? Who was your owner before he got blown up, little cat? I don't know, but hopefully you come in handy. There must be a reason why there was a dog before. Like, the dog, I feel, went out and searched and found things. What is this curiosity of this cat going to do to my family? I feel like it's- it might be a bad thing because, like, I love cats, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna be a good scenario. We'll see. Who should go outside? You. With the gas mask. Have fun out there. I'm not sending Dolores because we can't risk our crazy cat lady not being here. We need at least four cans of soup in stock right now. I'm getting really, really nervous. We need at least four. We need at least four. Uh, wait, what happened to Mary Jane? You're sick! Well, I'm kicking you out of the bunker. Oh! You get the scientist ending. I'm trying to get the scientist ending or the crazy cat lady ending. That's what we're going for right now. We got our cat. It's feeling hopeful, but we are desperately low on food. We couldn't spare any food for Mary Jane and eventually she reached a boiling point where her stare was enough to kill. She left without a word. I'm okay with that. As long as Timmy is here and in good health, that's all I could ever- Oh, the cat is growling in the general direction of us and our supplies. I knew it! I knew your curiosity would be the end of us! We're not sure if cats drink soup, but it's the only thing on the menu today, and it's up to us if we want to share our tomatoey delicacy with our pet. We need the dad to come back with soup. I like how everybody in the family, like, shares cans of soup, and this cat has an entire can to himself. Ugh, the little devil utterly devoured the whole can in less than 60 seconds and left nothing behind. Not even a drop! After that, it took a long, peaceful nap. At least it won't bother us for a while now. Alright, it is day 20. That means everyone is eating and drinking, including myself. Ooh, I'm going to quickly... Oh, Meister, thank you so much for the super chat. Two dollars. Ferno Blaze, thank you so much for the super chat. Five dollars. Can I please play Overwatch with you? Yes, join my Discord, um, discord.gg slash gloom, and I play with viewers all the time. Sir Doge, thank you so much for the super chat. Two dollars. If you lose, I'll shit myself. Same. Um, Ferno Blaze, thank you so much for the super chat. I like watching videos. Thank you so much for the super chat. And Unicorn Master. And Lenny, the cat looks so happy. Dolores is sitting there, like that damn cat. Love you, Gloom. I love you too. So do you need this extra? Stop! I need like I got extra noodles, and I'm dying here. Will you click my button while you eat, while I eat this? Hmm? 
Mm -mm. I can eat both if you don't want it. I haven't had noodles in 20 days. Mine. I've had like shirataki noodles, like the zero calorie cognac noodles, but like it's just not the same. All right, where is, oh! Does this mean he's dead? I hope not. I don't remember. Can you do something for me, cat? Do something! All right, I can tell if Teddy Boy is dead if we can set up an expedition, can we? Wait. While we were trying to pet the little devil, we found a piece of paper on its collar with an address scribbled on it. Could its previous owners still be around and worried sick? Chances are slim, but maybe we should pay them a visit, or at least whatever's left of them. Okay, so. <coughs> I'm sick. If we take this cat to his house, then presumably if the owners are still alive, they're gonna want him and we're not gonna be able to get this cat back unless he comes back on his own volition. I believe in free will, so I'm gonna- I'm gonna take this cat to his owner's house. Please don't shoot us. We've been taking good care of your cat. He had a whole can of our soup. Okay. Our boy is back. What did you bring? What did you bring? What did you bring? Two waters and one suitcase? I need more than that. Wait. Our gas mask was damaged during the expedition? Okay, well it's day 23, so that's fine. We have a suitcase now, so... I'm gonna send Timmy out with the suitcase. I'm gonna give him some food and water. We need more soup. Otherwise, we're gonna be screwed. Timmy is going out. Wait. When we opened the bunker door this morning to let in some fresh radioactive air, we discovered a small suitcase on our doorstep. There was no note on it, and the neighborhood seemed empty. Should we take a look inside? Now, I've gotten this option before, and it is often a booby trap of sorts. But sometimes it's food, and we need food, but we don't have a med kit. So we could open the suitcase and get sick, or we could get, like, one water. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it. I really don't want to lose. Uh, but I- what if luck is on my side today? I can't risk it. I can't risk it. Oh. Keep the cat. I'm hoping the cat will come back. I believe. I believe in a thing called love. It's pretty simple. If we don't know where it comes from, we can't trust it. Exactly. Ben Howland, thank you so much for the super chat, five dollars. Thank you so much for posting your poem yesterday. If any of you guys didn't see my poem that I posted yesterday, it is a poem about morning depression called The Morning That Was Blue. It was a hard thing to share, but the response has been so positive that I'm really glad I posted it. I was smiling all day yesterday, and I really appreciate the support, so thank you so much for bringing that up, Ben Howland, and for the super chat. I found myself stuck in a cycle, but the light comes through in the end. It gave me a lot of hope. Oh, I love you. Thank you. And thank you so much, Carly A, for the super chat as well. Okay, um, it's day 24, nobody's eating or drinking yet, but we're sending Timmy out, and we're sending him out with a suitcase. Carry back a ton of soup! We need it! We need it so, so badly! The cat is back! I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! I knew it, let's go! Alright. Dolores will not survive without water any longer, lucky for her, she gets to eat today. I probably should have fed Timmy before I sent him out. We've got the Boy Scout book, so these cockroaches are not a problem. I want to eat this flavored egg. The best part of ramen is the flavored egg. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Jeez and gosh. What's that, Terry? Super chat. Xavier, Zeus, thank you so much for the super chat. <laughs> $10, I spat egg all over myself. We dodged a bullet this time, that is, if a bullet was a huge, hairy, and had eight legs and a glowing head. Okay, so we're fine. Everybody's fed. It's not the best time or place to make plans for the future, but we can't help thinking about what we can make of this terrible situation. Is our house still standing? Or will we have to move to some forsaken hole like Toronto? Excuse me! I happen to be from Toronto, and this bunker, before the update, was in Toronto. Are they American now? Are they trying to make it have more mass appeal? Excuse me, a hole like Toronto. I'm dying here. I haven't had a fizzy drink in 21 days either, so that's very nice. Okay. That's fine, it's getting a little bit repetitive. Curiosity almost killed the cat. 
I freaking called it. You, what did you do? Sherikov found a tiny wire sticking out from the ceiling and pulled it out. Plaster and debris fell on debris fell on our table, topped with a big meowing fur ball. What is this thing anyway? Nobody remembers it being there before. The cat might get angry if we take away the wire, so it's best to maybe leave it be. Or should we examine that wire? Sherikov here has a wire in his mouth. If we examine the wire in the cat's mouth, then maybe we'll get sick. Because in my experience, if a cat ever goes out and brings something home, it's often a dead rat full of disease and we could get in trouble. Like, maybe his little nose and his little like, curiosity almost killed him. Is he trying to get us killed too? I think I'm gonna let him keep his wire. What if it kills the cat? Oh! There's too many variables. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna check the wire. No, 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 I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Nope. Nope! Can't do it. This cat keeps moving around. I want to get more cats in here. We need to pass the time more. Where is Timmy? We don't really want to risk pissing off Sherikov by taking away its toy. We've already gotten scratched for a lot less. Let's just let it, let it be. Yeah, he can fend for himself. He's a good little can. Day 28, nobody is eating or drinking, and we don't have a radio, so please don't go insane, guys. Although, I feel like you guys can go insane as long as the cat's here. But, Ted must die before Dolores. We don't have a radio. Hopefully Timmy brings one back. I know you guys are struggling and I'm so, so sorry. You would expect a nuclear explosion to be enough to quench any petty arguments. When the future is not looking too pretty and all you see is naked walls, not much is necessary for an explosion. It happened. We started fighting like crazy. Okay, this is the beginning of potentially the end in case Timmy comes back with a suitcase full of things from Toys R Us. We're gonna go insane. I'm very, very nervous. There he is. What did you bring? Just by looking, I'm not really seeing much except for an axe. And a med kit! Okay, we can trade this. That's not bad. So, a food drop. That's what we needed. What did they drop this time? Bread? Cheese? Meat? Chocolate? Nope, tomato soup cans. Always. We got two cans, got two waters, one med kit. That's not bad at all. One radio. Oh, we're not gonna go insane! Timmy, my boy, I love you! Eat and drink all you want. We never needed Mary Jane anyway. A young lady all dressed in white has visited us today, requesting our aid. Wasting no time, she laid out a plan of what she said is a bandit camp, where she claims her twin... Okay, I'm not, I'm not about to get the twin ending right now. Bye. Actually, it wouldn't have hurt to just do it. Because they might attack us later. Uh-oh. I should have done it. Ugh. Our situation doesn't really encourage going out and risking our necks for some strangers. That's how I felt, but I don't think that it's the way. I still believe that we're gonna get one of these endings, though. We just gotta keep trekking. Is that cat still here? He is. Okay. We're fine. Somebody's going out, and is, is it gonna be Dolores? If she comes back sick, we have a med kit, so I think I might. More cockroaches. We're gonna use the Boy Scout book. Ooh. The cat is, like, the happiest little guy. What if the cat keeps us sane because he's just such a happy little... No, he probably ignores us all day. All right. This is a good day to go outside. Should I send Dolores? What if she doesn't come back? I'm really nervous. Oh, wait. In sending Timmy out with a suitcase, we sacrificed the suitcase. I really want that cat lady ending, but I have faith. I have faith that she's gonna come back. And she's got these, these big ropey muscles. She's gonna get us the things that we need. I just heard, like, knocking. Okay, that's part of the music. It's fine. Timmy is very hungry. Timmy has been talking about nothing other than water. You gotta wait two days, Timmy, and you better not get mad at me and leave. A scientist! At least, supposedly, arrived on our doorstep yelling, Dr. Sherikov, are you in there? This guy's name is Sherikov. He was looking for his lost cat, but kept referring to the pet as his favorite assistant. His research apparently can't go without the cooperation of Dr. Sherikov. Since the cat doesn't seem keen on moving out of our bunker anytime soon, the doc wants us to compensate him by helping him with his project. In these circumstances, it might not be the worst idea to befriend other wastelanders, to even, even the batshit crazy ones. I agree. There was no prompt for me to do anything though, which is weird. What is- okay, we need at least four cans of soup for Dr. Sherikov. Nobody's eating until the day after tomorrow. This is insane, we keep finding spiders everywhere. Can you just fix the spiders? 
And can we get that scientist ending, please? It is day 35. I really want other cats to start rolling in. If Dolores doesn't- wait. We have four cans of soup. Oh no, but it's eating day today. A good book is the solution to any problem you encounter. This includes marauding spiders. A few precise hits and suddenly every spider is aware of what the, world decim what the word decimation means. We also found a misplaced soup can. Of course we did. Oh no, we have enough to do this, but we gotta eat it, otherwise my guys are gonna die! All right, so we're gonna keep our ears open, listen to the radio, hopefully it keeps us sane. We really need, we really need mama to come home with some soup. We need it bad. We knew it, the government has not fallen. I don't care, I just want that mad scientist to notice me. The cat disappeared for a short while and came back with a note on its collar. It's signed by the scientist. He says he's being followed by a couple of weird men in hats and sunglasses, making him temporarily go into hiding. Do we have the gun? Yes, we have the gun. I got your back. Okay. His note mentions the construction of some sort of transportation contraption. Few details were provided, but apparently it can get us out of this hellhole. It still needs to be stocked with supplies, which is where we come in. He wants us to stockpile several cans of soup. The doc will come pick them up soon. I can do that, and I will do that. And we're gonna get this ending, I knew it! Unless something horrible happens. We don't have a padlock, but we do have a gun. We're not eating today. Did I eat? I don't remember. I know, we're missing the sunshine. I didn't eat, I don't think, so I'm just gonna go ahead and eat this egg. Oh! Mm. Mm. One soup? Are you serious right now? And one water. All right, Dolores. We need more soup! Someone's going out. Oh no. Okay, we can't, um... If we lose, we give him our two cans? No. We don't have the cards anyway, but no. I'm trying to get the scientist to like me. Gambling is a terrible habit. We're not gonna do it. It's day 39, one more day, okay. Only this sweet, beautiful man can go out. And you know what? I believe he's gonna come back. Is there anything we should send him out with? Not that I can see. Use those big strong arms and bring home so much soup, please. And if he doesn't come back, I'm gonna be very upset, but I think we're okay. That knocking is tripping me out. Timmy is very hungry, that's fine. Oh no, we have less than four cans of soup now! This is like, we're just, this whole game, we've just been on the brink of getting what we need. Can we trade? No! No! Okay, so, am I gonna go for the crazy cat lady ending? Or am I gonna starve Dolores to death and give him these four cans of soup? And pray that daddy comes home with soup in five days. I kinda wanna take a risk here. I need to think about this. What do you think, chat? Mm -hmm. That's a really good idea. I'm starving Timmy. Why wouldn't I? Yeah, this is what we're doing. It's gonna be good. <sighs> Whoa, oh, I thought it said plus four soups. I'm such an idiot. We shared what we could. Thankfully, it was enough. The dog nodded with approval and promised he'd come back before disappearing with our supplies. We're still wondering if we made the right decision. Timmy is very hungry. I'm so sorry, Timmy. Can you go outside? Oh, wait, somebody's already outside. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Timmy. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, I don't know what to do about that. And we're arguing. Can't you guys turn on the radio or something? I, it, I can't explain how good it feels to be eating noodles right now. But like, I kind of feel bad about it because I, I was so good for so long. All right. We 
stopped arguing, but for how long? At least you guys stopped. That's all that matters. The gas mask is in no shape to wear outside. Okay, so we're gonna use the Boy Scout book, fix this, and hopefully trade it for some soup before we starve to death. We need to win this game before we starve to death. You, you've been such a problem this whole time. All right, we got one gas mask. Good for us. Day 43, Timmy is starving. Oh dear, we just remembered we planned on taking a trip south in two months. Well, too bad. Too bad for you. Why can't Timmy just eat the map? Oh, he's sick. He's sick, he's sick, he's sick, and he's gonna get everybody else sick. I gotta, I'm gonna send him outside. I, I, I'm sorry, but Timmy's gotta go. Wait, we have a med kit. But he's gonna starve to death anyway if I give him that med kit, don't you think? Hmm. I don't know. We're closed off in a tiny shelter and our supplies are very limited. If we want to survive, it's time for desperate measures. We know there's a group of elderly people hiding in the ruins of a local retirement home. They must have some supplies, and in our opinion, we need them more. The well-being of your family is the most important thing in the world, right? Okay, so we can, we can either, we can ransack this retirement home like the good people we are, but if we do that, when someone comes knocking on that door, and I'm hoping it's the scientist, what if it's not? This makes me very, very nervous, but we need food. Dolores needs to eat tomorrow. I'm doing it. Oh boy. Oh. Oh boy. No. What did we get out of it? We got a can of poison spray. We got what we needed and came back. That? Anything else? Dolores would really love to eat something. Ted needs to come back. Otherwise, Dolores is gonna die. No. I don't have any food. Just drink some water. You're gonna be okay, right? The mad scientist asked for one of us to join him in his lab for an experiment that's apparently vital to his project. We don't really know what to expect, but he says it has... But he says it has for research on wasteland diseases. Is this something we want to partake in? Please, no game over! Please! No! What did he do? What happened? certain I was so certain I was gonna get one of these two oh I don't know what to do with my life oh oh I'm so tilted I'm so tilted oh, oh, oh that hurts so bad oh my god 45 days in the shelter oh. I'm gonna try again. Oh my god. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, I didn't see it. I can't believe it. Oh, but I feel it. I'm doing it again. And we're gonna use our PMA, our positive mental attitude. Oh my god. Get, okay, okay. Boy Scout book is there. No. Oh, More soup this time. He's stressed. Me too. I didn't know you could move before the clock starts. I did not know that. Okay, we're gonna get this water. Okay, fuck! We're gonna get this axe. That's fine. We're going to get my wife, my life, my everything. Timmy. Padlock. We're gonna get the padlock. Dolores. She takes up three spaces, I swear to God. Okay, and then we're going to get this, some water. Okay, half of our time is done, so either this is gonna be super clutch, or we're gonna be in big trouble. <laughs> oh, I'm so sick. Uh, med kit! Poison! Running out of time! I, I don't have time to get anything else. Let's 
see what this hall looks like. I'm sweating profusely. I hope he takes all the stuff down there <laughs> that you have on your Oh, I need some tea. When you jump in. Hmm? Does he take everything down or do you have to throw it? <laughs> we got the whole family. We only got two cans of soup. We got so much stuff, but we're low on soup. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna scavenge and I'm gonna get that soup. We got a gun too. We've got a lot of stuff. I don't think we're gonna go insane. We've got a checkers board. This doesn't look like the best bunker at face value, but it has longevity. So we're gonna try. Play a game of checkers, stay sane, take care of yourselves. It's gonna be a long, long trek. We played truth or dare. So the first person who's going to go out is Mary Jane. Wait, we might be safe inside these walls, but there are other problems to consider. None of us can sleep properly. We have to do, this is, okay, I might have to, rest if someone is sick, I'm restarting. Who's sick? You guys good? They seem good. All right, Mary Jane, go. Why can't you go outside? Oh, okay, I'm restarting. Game makes me so mad! Twinkie is 13. The soup, dear God. Okay. I'm gonna get a lot of soup this time. A lot, a lot, a lot of soup. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fantastic. I'm gonna finally eat. I, I'm so tempted to do a little boy, but we're not doing it. Say happy birthday to Honey Dabi. What's that? Say happy birthday to Honey Dabi. <laughs> honey birthday. Honey birthday? Happy birthday, Honey Dabi. Oh, we got the serious haul. Honey Dubby, we're doing this. We're doing this real big. Bigger than we ever done. Take it. Grab one of these for good measure. Okay, that's a pretty good start. We're gonna go back and get those other soups there. Uh-huh, gonna get the gun. Uh-huh, that's good. This is looking good so far. Go in this room, get my wife, get the map, get the flashlight. Now, where are we going next? Timmy? Timmy? Uh, checkers and padlock. Uh, are we gonna get Mary Jane? She takes up so many spaces. Oh, she makes me wanna die. Okay, we've got time for one more. One more little quick sting of some room somewhere. It's gonna be a soup run. Oh, look at all this soup. Look at that, baby. Look, oh, that's water. It's fine. We got this. Do I have time to grab one more thing? Huh. We got a suitcase! Yeah! Okay, this looks good. What did I forget? Oh no, the Boy Scout book. Did I get the Boy Scout book? Please tell me I got the Boy Scout book. If I didn't get the Boy Scout book, I would be really sad. I'm so sweaty. Huh. Please, please, Boy Scout book. I got it, I got it, I got it! Oh, okay, this is the one. This is the run. This is how you win the game. And we also got some extra cards here too. Gas mask. This is the best stock shelter we've ever seen. We've never seen a better one. This is the one. This is the this is what dreams are made of. We keep dreaming about those little things. What do you mean? It's an apocalypse and look at your shelter. This is the most amazing shelter anyone could ever ask for. I'm so glad I restarted and didn't commit to that shit bunker. Okay. We're good. Oh, we're so good. Did we get the gun? Ooh, we got it all! Let's get that cat in here. Nobody's eating. And we're just gonna whiz through. We're, we're totally fine right now. I'm not gonna go out yet and break the mask until it looks like we're getting low on things. I'm just gonna chill in this bunker and wait for this cat to show up. I can't believe I got the whole family too. This is like the, the greatest. I knew when the run was about to start, I just knew that it was gonna be a good one. Spiders everywhere. Should we get Mutant Mary Jane going? If we get Mutant Mary Jane going, no, these aren't glowing spiders. It's not, they're not mutant Mary Jane spiders. I wish they were, because Mary Jane is clutch when she turns into an ogre. Wait, what? Okay, sure. Got an extra soup. Nice. This run really, really likes me. Maybe it feels bad about what happened to me last time. <laughs> okay, we only have three waters though. That actually is pretty low. Water, you need water a lot more than you need food in this game. I might just send Mary Jane out with a bunch of different stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Wait, what is this? Hmm. 
We can't sleep properly. Well, whoever's sick is going out. Day five. This is the day that we're all eating. It's gonna be a good one. Nobody has been sleeping again, but guess what? Food, water, hey! What? Well, nobody can go home. Nobody can go outside. Okay. It's because I didn't treat them for their inability to sleep, their insomnia. But it's fine. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good run. I'm not losing hope. Day six. We're good. Nobody can go outside again. Wait. Peculiar. It seems that the whole shelter has been shaking every couple of minutes. It feels like it's getting stronger every time this happens. Here it comes again. And it's way worse. It's an earthquake. Hold on to some- Really? Really? Is it because I was doing too good? Is that why? Gas mask or flashlight? Oh no. Gas mask because I don't want anyone getting sick. Nobody eats or drinks today. Why can't anybody go out at any point? Timmy has been sitting there just staring into space. Is something wrong? Maybe it would be good to have a little chat with him. Of course. Make him feel better. Then he can go outside and die. Something. The phone's ringing. Okay. Hopefully we can use the Boy Scout book to fix that flashlight. I still have very high hopes for this run. Timmy seems better now. Okay. Getting a drink for Mary Jane seems like the right idea. Well, not for me. We thought phone calls were a thing of the past after the atomic bomb obliterated everything in our little town. All right, are we gonna answer the phone? Let's just answer the damn phone. It's probably gonna be the twins, but I'm not interested in that ending. But I don't wanna make enemies with them like I did last time because I just don't wanna get raided. And maybe that's what happened to me last time is that I was mean to the twins and then I got stabbed as I was leaving my shelter. Or maybe the scientists just can't be trusted. Yeah, this is Hill Valley, this is the twin ending. Nobody's eating or drinking today, and nobody can go outside still. Right. Every new smell attacks our noses in this little shelter instantly. There isn't much we can miss. So when a single brick fell out from the wall, revealing a tight opening, our senses were immediately invaded by a terrible stench. We should probably check that hole out and see what the source of that smell is. This hole? is going to make someone sick, or it's going to give us a can of soup. We have a lot of soup. I'm not doing it. Please be right, Cassie. Please be right. Please be right. We're right. Okay. Good. Everybody is looking really bad. He's got his five o'clock shadow, but you know what? Dolores is looking beautiful. We decided to ignore the whole the stench and anything that might happen because of it. We've taken enough risks already. That's what I'm talking about. Day 10, eat, drink, someone needs to go outside. Dolores, you're in pretty good shape, you should go. Have fun with that. I'm gonna send her out with the gas mask and the suitcase. If she doesn't come back, then I am royally screwed. <sighs> Nervous. All right, day 11, nobody eats or drinks. I forgot to eat and drink, okay, so. Wait, she can only carry one thing? Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? Please? I really want, a, 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 but. Oh, oh, okay. That's, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, that's good. That's happening. Bring home the bacon, Dolores. And please don't get hurt. Please don't get shot. Please. I'm going to be super nice to everybody everywhere. I'm not going to rob the old folks home again. I got a little desperate last time. Sorry about that. I'm going to be nice. We're going to get the ending that we want. And it's going to be beautiful. It's not easy to keep calm in these circumstances. Hopefully we'll keep our peace. Guys, just shut up. Wait. I didn't get a radio? Just shut up and play some checkers, okay? Play some Uno. Don't make me mad, little family. Oh, Tim, you look are, you look amazing today. I must say you are just ravaging. Okay. <sighs> okay, so everybody seems to be in pretty okay shape, although Timmy is begging for water. Unfortunately, it's wait two more days. We don't have a radio, interesting. Hmm. Okay. I mean, we can get one. Day 14. We need the ra I get it. You need a radio. I get it. Just play some cards for now. Day 14. Okay, it's, it keeps giving me prompts about the radio. There's nothing I can do. 
PBXD, thank you for the super chat. You said hi, Gloom, while you're gonna get the ending. <laughs> I wish. It's happening this time, though. The last time. Hey! Oh, Dolores, my girl, brought home the gas mask in perfect condition. You got two waters, and that's it. Really. Really, Dolores. Well, I have to feed you. By law, it's required that I feed you, but I'm not happy about it. But she brought the gas mask back in good condition, so that means we can go out again. Wait. When Dolores came back from that expedition the other day, she had a tiny scratch on her leg. It didn't seem serious at the time, but right now it's quite a terrible sight. Just let me go... Just let me go back for a sec. It doesn't say that she needs a med kit right now. Should I ignore it and wait for it to get worse? I'm gonna ignore it and wait for it to get worse. Yeah. Because it might not. And then I might not have to use my med kit. Alright, she's sick. I'm gonna use my med kit on her. We can get another one! <laughs> med kit! You, go outside, take the gas mask with you, and have a wonderful, wonderful trip, okay? Do good things out there. Danny Jonas, thank you so much for the new sponsor. Mm -hmm. Mary Jane is a good girl, and she's gonna make me proud, I know it. Wait, a sleazy looking trader carrying an equally scruffy bag on his shoulder paid us a visit. He offered a simple one-time deal. For just one can of soup, we can get the bag and all of its contents. I think this is the cat. We can't see what's inside, and the trader gives us angry glances every time we take a step towards the mysterious bag. Let's make the deal. Please don't make a sick. Please don't make a sick. We don't have a make Please get- Yeah, buddy! We got the cat! <coughs> and it was worth the soup. These cats in this game, they love the soup. They love it so much. No supplies for anyone's day. And this is looking perfecto. It's looking good. And the cat's looking happy. The cat just like, whenever I get a cat or pancake, like it just brings my morale so much in this game. It's still better to be safe and sorry. To be safe down here than dead up there. I don't know why my brain just like finishes sentences and I say the wrong thing. Alright. Just chill guys. Don't you go crazy now. Cat, look at the- Timmy must love that cat. Timmy's in terrible shape. He needs to eat. We need four cans of soup at least. I hope Mary Jane comes in clutch. We don't have a radio, unfortunately. Please, nobody go crazy. Please, I'm gonna be so sad. Oh! It really feels like nobody's bringing back anything of value lately. She brought back- She brought back the mask, which is great, because I can give it to Timmy so we can go out again. But like, hello? Two waters! That's it?! And you're gonna eat more of my food! Ugh. Should we- should we get- are we getting to a point where we're gonna sacrifice Mary Jane? Let's just see how she's doing. She's starving. We really need those four cans of soup. Who should go- today we found a letter from what seems to be other survivors. They claim they mean us no harm and want to get to know us better. They're asking to choose one person to represent us at the meeting tonight. Unarmed. We're a bit worried, but they could be friendly. Should we go? Yeah, we'll send it to Mary Jane. <laughs> Just in case she doesn't come back. And that seems to- well, How did you get sick, Ted? Okay, it's the twins. I don't care about the twins. What happened to Ted? Ted developed an allergy to our furry guest. I didn't know that you guys are allergic to cats. What the heck? Oh no. Do we have the poison spray? We don't. Oh shit. We don't have a med kit. Ah. Okay, so Timmy's gonna go out tomorrow. Wait, Sherikov is still a fresh addition to our little family, so we need to keep an eye on it. And believe it or not, today we just noticed something else on its collar. It seems to be a metal plate with an address on it, and it's not far. Should we take a quick trip and see what's there? So, <coughs> again, I either take the cat and try to get the mad scientist ending again, or 
I don't take him there. And I just try to get that crazy cat lady ending. I'm gonna take him there because I feel like you- I feel like the scientist is needed either way. But we're not gonna have the cat for a few days and that really worries me. Because all of these guys can die as long as the cat is in here with Dolores. Otherwise I get a game over. All right, so they took Sherikov, thanked us, and left. Sherikov, maybe, maybe Sherikov like comes back every time and doesn't want to be there because they do like weird tests on him or something. All right, Timmy, you take that gas mask. Please bring us, please bring us home something good. Please. I feel like everyone's hauls have been so bad lately. Mary Jane is starving. What else is new? Nobody gets to eat for an another day. Okay, so we're gonna use the Boy Scout book and fix the ventilation. Timmy's gonna die. Okay, the cat is back. We really need Ted to get better. We need a med kit so bad. Okay, it's day 25. Eat and drink. Oh my goodness, I might just be wasting food on Ted. I need four cans! Why is this so hard? At least I have my noodles. Oh no! Mary Jane is sick too! Ah! This, I've been so unlucky. I'm, I'm never this unlucky in this game. Oh boy. Our supplies are scarce and our morale is low. We're not gonna rob the retirement home because it's bad karma. We're all gonna die in here! Timmy, please come back! This cat, he's ruining my life! Oh. <laughs> no. We don't even have a radio to listen to. Timmy, what'd you bring, boy? What'd you bring, little buddy? Two soups, a radio! He broke the mask, but it doesn't even matter. Okay, so we need a med kit. We still need a med kit really, really badly. Um, Timmy hasn't eaten, so he will. Oh, we only have the minimum amount of soup that we need, so someone's gonna go outside tomorrow, and I think it's gonna be Ted. A loud crash, a surprised shriek, and a bit of debris falling from our ceiling. Truly, a recipe for a good start of the day. As it turns out, Sherikov found a new toy. A bit of innocuous wiring that it ripped out of the wall. Okay, so he's ripping out wires. Who knows what the cable's for? But our lights are still on, and it can't be that important, right? Should we take the wire away from our fluffy friend and invest- Well, we're all sick anyway, so let's do it. What happened? We're in the same spot we were before. We grabbed the cable and followed it to Rusty, an old truck parked in our neighbor's driveway. Upon opening the door, we were confronted with two men wearing huge headphones who looked extremely surprised to see us. They wiretapped our shelter, what, when we were asleep and they started listening to everything we said. We gave them hell and marched back into our bunker. What on earth is going on? Day 29, nobody's gonna eat today. What to take outside? There's nothing you can take outside, boy. I just hope you come back. Have fun with that. He's probably not coming back. Oh, this is so tragic. Oh, it's day 30. Oh, we're gonna have to eat our last can of soup. No! The agents who are spying on us are now at the door and want to explain themselves. Should we hear them out? Sure. We're all sick anyway. You got a med kit on your hands? Okay, we still seem all right. They briefly waved some sort of ID cards in front of our faces and told us they're on a top secret government mission. The wiretap wasn't to spy on us, but rather on the cat. It's suspected of being a Soviet agent. They're willing to let us into their super top secret government safe house if we help them with some of their top secret missions. They assured us that they'd contact us again with more details. Okay, so this is a different ending as well. I wanted to get the mad scientist or the crazy cat lady. This is the, the spies ending, which is also a new ending. There's four new ones, I think. Um, there's nothing we can do here. There's nothing we can do here. We can't help you siblings. We don't have an ax. We've got a gun, but we're probably gonna need it. 
it's unfortunate we don't have any tools and we can't just chop wood with our bare hands. That's what I'm saying. Okay, we're running low on food. Please, Ted, come back, please. Is there anything about Ted? No, so he might still come back. I hope. All right, Ted's back. Wow, I'm actually impressed. Did he bring anything though? Two waters, a gas mask. That is pretty good. Um, that's pretty good. He's probably hungry. Ugh. Oh, we need more soup so bad. We took some time examining our map and found it had some abnormal symbols scribbled in a few places. It appeared as if someone had hidden something in the area and provided directions to it. Should we send someone to investigate? Yes, we're gonna send Mary Jane, just in case she doesn't come back. Please be a haul with a med kit and a bunch of other cool stuff too, please. Please, what is, what, what is it, do we get anything? Those map directions were a cruel joke or just a child's playful imagination. We found nothing and only wasted our afternoon running around. Great. This luck today that I'm having is not very good. All right, let's, uh, let's turn on the radio. Jeez. It's getting quiet in here. Get soup, get water. I'm trying so hard to do that. My guys are dying. We made con- Okay, I don't care about the military! I want one of the new endings! Oh, and we're eating all of our soup! And drinking all of our water! Take the gas mask and go! Wait, we need to make a choice for today's- Um, I'm just gonna quickly see what's going on outside. It doesn't really seem like anything is happening outside. I don't even know if she should take the gas mask. Maybe, like, maybe her haul will be bigger if she doesn't take the gas mask. Yeah. Just go. Just go. And come back, okay? Bring a med kit, at least. I wish I could have sent Timmy instead, but there wasn't an option. Mary Jane's dad could use- You just ate yesterday! Oh! I'm feeding you guys so much that I'm forgetting to eat! My noodles are like, sucked up all my broth. Okay, Mary Jane looks like she's <laughs> gonna die. Hmm. I should have stopped feeding the sick ones. Why didn't I do that? I would have been in a much better position right now. Hey. I can't trade any of these things. No. We don't we don't even need water. We got two. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it. I wish I could trade for four soups, that'd be sick. Day 38, nobody eats or drinks. And we we're playing games, that's nice. Mary Jane's feeling okay. Right, Mary? These guys have been sick in the bunker for a very long time. It's flu season down here. We played I Spy and it was pretty fun for the first three minutes. Good for you. Critical Strikings, thank you so much for helping with the chat and moderating, I really appreciate it. And thank you for the super chat. All right, one more day until we have to eat again. What is this? We were pretty sure Mary Jane had her birthday two weeks ago, but it turns out it's today. Should we get her something? A young lady trapped in a tiny shelter would enjoy? Yeah. Take some cards, sicky. Oh boy, where is Dolores? Oh, Mary Jane loves her cards. That's so cute. She started doing card readings, divination or not. We don't... If we don't figure out why the world has gone to hell, maybe she will. Yeah, okay. This is a disaster. Absolute disaster. We've been wondering what happened to Uncle Brian. He should have been far from where the bombs fell, but no one knows for sure. It would be great to find out. He always looked on the bright side of life, so maybe we should too. But it's not easy. Say, didn't we have a photo of him tucked away in one of the books at home? Maybe we'll all stay sane for longer. If we find a picture of Uncle Brian, and maybe it'll be like a little med kit in a book. Where is Dolores? Where is she? I, she's the most important thing here. Where is she? Okay, screw these siblings. Dolores, she's back, and she's not sick. And what did you bring? What did you bring? Two waters, and that's it! Why are these halls so bad lately? 
Oh no! Using a high-tech setup involving paper cut paper cups and yarns of string, the agents rang in with our next top secret mission that will surely land us in the VP VIP bunker very soon. They want us to go on one successful expedition and write down what we saw in the journal. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Let's send one of the sick people that are expendable. Hopefully it'll keep her alive longer since she's busy. We graciously agreed to fulfill their request. They thanked us for doing so, for doing our civic duty and promised they would be back with more information soon. Okay, but I want that cat ending. He's, he's here. Please. We've been hearing strange noises lately. Okay. I don't know what it's gonna be, but we're throwing a checkerboard at it. Because we gave the cards to Mary Jane for her birthday and I really don't want to take her birthday present and throw it outside. Hey, we still got the checkers. That's not bad. Having some fun made us forget about... What was it again? Oh wait, we played checkers. We didn't throw the checkerboard at it. Hey, wait. Oh, never mind. I was like, wait, we only need one med kit, but it's because we sent Mary Jane outside. Is she dead? I don't care about the military. I want a new ending! Hey! Mary, what happened to you? The signal has to wait. Besides, do they even know how much flashlight batteries cost? All right, the recon mission was risky business. We had to visit neighbors, neighborhoods that were dicey, even in the best of times. So I'm really glad I didn't have a med kit that I could have used on her earlier because she broke, she would have broken her arm again on this mission anyway and needed another med kit. The area was full of mutated cats and dogs fighting each other in gangs, all of them armed to the teeth. What? We barely made it out of there alive, but the Asians seem to appreciate our efforts. Let's hope these missions are actually worth it. Our bucket is just about, our poop bucket is due for an upgrade and we're expecting the government shelter to have an excellent bathroom, maybe even a hot tub. Hmm. Mary Jane needs medicine. Oh boy, she's gonna die. We're all gonna die because nobody's bringing home soup ever and nobody can go outside. There's been some radio chatter about airdrops. Please, please airdrop, please, please come and clutch for me. Please do this for me, do this for me, please. Please. That looks like something. That looks like two soups and two waters. Okay, somebody's gotta go outside. Kalani Nation, Kehalani Nation. Thank you so much for the super chat, one dollar. Okay, it's day 46, nobody's gonna eat. Who ate the soup? Hopefully, nobody. When conducting our daily supply count, we noticed that a soup can was missing. We're absolutely sure it was there just yesterday, and that can only mean one thing. We have a soup thief among us. We just need to figure out who the culprit is. Was it you? Huh? Is there a cat option? I mean, Mary Jane's on her deathbed anyway. We might as well blame everything on her. Sorry, Mary. I really just want one new ending. Come on, you gotta get- Oh, she's gone. She left. When Mary Jane's sickness got worse and we weren't able to provide her with medicine, she decided it's time to cure whatever she had on her own. She left a note saying she's not coming back since she never liked our town to begin with. Well, at least it's not Toronto. Looks like we made a mistake even counting and started pointing fingers instead of making sure the can was actually missing. Oh. Oh, so a can didn't went, go missing. Uh-oh. That's not good. All right, we could use some extra supplies. The last time we went on a supply run, we noticed a damaged tank stuck in the rubble nearby. How about we send someone to investigate? We're gonna send the sick man. I'm not, I feel like if the cat is in the bunker, I won't get a game over. But that might just be if we find the device that makes extra cats show up. We found ammunition. That is not too bad. Two more days until we eat and Timmy's gonna go outside. He has to. We stumbled upon a weird signal when changing radio frequencies. We're pretty sure that behind bars of terrible- behind layers of, ster of terrible stat- I can't read today- and screams we could hear a voice. A voice speaking in a foreign language. Oh dear. What if it's the Soviets? We should probably listen to it. But what about the children? Let's just listen to it anyway. Timmy's going outside anyway. We're go going into day 50. We're getting closer to that cat ending that I'm wanting. We were relieved at first when we figured out it wasn't Soviets, we heard. It turns out it was Canadians, which isn't even that much better. Excuse me! This used to take place in Toronto, what are you doing? 
Either way, they're foreigners, and we couldn't understand a word they were saying. Not a word. Really? Can you guys understand what I'm saying? Either we get Ted medicine, or... We're never seeing him eat another can of soup. Oh, sorry. But it's gonna have to be Timmy going outside. Oh! He's on his deathbed! Oh, he's gonna die so soon. <coughs> Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. I need more soup and water. Ah! Clearly we're trustworthy after our last successful mission as the agents came back with another request. So you need four soups or four waters to get the spies or the scientist? No. We are to generously provide either a couple, a couple, that's four cans of soup or some water bottles for an agent in the field. They'll take care of the delivery. Oh, you shouldn't have. In return, we'll be given an encouraging pat on the back and the promise of a better future in a safe government shelter. No, thank you. I can't afford it anyway. Wait, I have four waters. Wait, what? Where'd my... Oh, it's because I fed them. Damn it! We're not giving them anything, at least not this time. Oh, boy. And we don't have an ax. This is a disaster! And Ted is dead! Oh! Ted has been sick for far too long. Oh my goodness, is Timmy coming back? Someone is at the door, but we're a bit scared. Maybe it's a friendly face of an American sh soldier. Should we open? No, because I didn't do any of the endings. I can't open that door! Hopefully it's not Timmy. Timmy! Timmy! I feel so pathetic right now! <laughs> The banging, the banging stopped after a while, and whoever was behind the door left. Oh no. Let's just listen to that radio, huh? Stay sane, hey Dolores? I know it's looking pretty dire, but there's always a chance. Timmy. Timmy! Did you- Four soups, Timmy? And six waters and a flashlight and it's poison, holy shit. Oh my god, Timmy just saved the game! Have some food and water. I love you so much. You were always my favorite son. We don't need to go outside right now. The military is transmitting. I don't care about them. I want another ending. Cat, please, can you do something? Um, okay. Everyone is eating and drinking today. Nobody is going outside. Oh, the agents visited. Okay. Huh? I know, he came in- he came in so clutch for me. So now I'm trying to decide, like, should I just do this spies ending? Because it's, like, asking me again. What do you think? <laughs> Mika Carol, thank you so much for the super chat, two dollars. I can't decide- I can't decide if I want to do the spies ending or not. Go spies? Are you sure? I really want to try to get that cat ending! Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's go back. We'd be putting all of our eggs into this spy ending. And it would probably, it'd probably be guaranteed. But I want the other two. I want to try for the cat. I really want to try for that cat lady ending. I, I want to try for it so hard. I'm not doing the spies today. Even if I freaking lose, I'm going for the other two. Cause I, the, I, the spy one is just, it's in my lap right now. I feel like I got it already and I just, I want one of the cool ones. Perhaps we can help them another day when we feel a little more up to the task. Hopefully they ask again. We'll see. We've got so much food and water right now. We're not sending Dolores out. We're just okay. We're okay for now, but I really want more cats to show up. It's day 57, cat. When are you gonna bring your cat friends? Memories or not, we need to keep our heads clear and get a grip on the reality ahead of us. Nothing new about Timmy, we've got so many supplies. This is looking really good. Wait, we had a chance to meet the strangest person today. He looked just like a human, except with triple the amount of hands necessary. We listened to a story about a group of folks just like him. We're having a hard time scavenging supplies because of their appearance. People shoot first and ask questions later. He offered us he offered us a deal. If we share some of our supplies, if we share some of our supplies with them, 
They will help us on our next expedition. Okay, so I think that we have more. We have more water than food, so we're gonna give them a water because food is a lot more important to us with all of these cats that I want in my bunker. Are they ever gonna show up? We were relieved when the man assured us that his condition is not contagious. We gladly took his offer and we're actually looking forward to our next expedition. No one's eating or drinking today. Dolores is not going outside. Um, yeah, let's listen to the radio and try to stay sane until more cats come in. I'm like, I'm keeping my hopes up for these cats coming in and it just doesn't seem like they are. Okay. Nobody's eating till tomorrow. Same old, same old. Wait a minute. These are dire circumstances we found ourselves in. Supplies are running low, and if we don't take care of ourselves, nobody else will. We know for a fact that one of our neighbors had a shelter with a broken trap door, and there might be some supplies inside. Of course, there's, the ch there's a chance that the neighbor and her kids managed to get there in time. We could really use whatever they have, and we're stronger. Should we pay them a visit? No, we've got, we've got tons of supplies. <coughs> Sorry about my cough, it's really, really bad. Day 60. We're no bandits, we're better than that. We are moral heroes. So glad Mary Jane isn't here, because she, she eats a lot of soup. We can't afford the agents again. The agents are getting rather impatient. They visited us yet, yet again, demanding to know whether we'll give us supplies or not. If we ever want to see them again, and get a chance of improving our housing conditions, we should consider giving them the supplies they keep asking for. They're gonna be mad if I don't do this and if I don't take this ending. I'm not doing it. It's just, it's too easy. It's too, it's just too easy of, an, of a win. I don't want it. I want the difficult win, damn it. We denied them assistance for the last time. We probably won't see them ever again. Well, good. Hopefully they don't come to our door and raid us. That's all I care about. I'm not helping those twins either. I don't like how Ted's dead skeleton is just staying here the whole time. We wish we had an ax. Well, we don't. And nobody's eating. Can we please get some new news? Can we get some news? We got some new music. Does that mean I'm gonna be given a new, uh, a new problem? As long as we're safe, we can stay down here. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting bored down here. Dolores is confident she'll survive inside. We're gonna go, we're gonna send her on an expedition, screw it. The first aid kit we have is useless. Okay, we're gonna fix the first aid kit. So just in case, just in case Dolores gets hurt, we will have a first aid kit. Oh, look how beautiful that is, yeah! All right. Good trade. All right, Dolores. Get out there and be somebody. We need you for that crazy cat ending, so this is kind of kind of risky, but I believe. Timmy is very hungry. Timmy is in terrible shape. That's fine. We only have four cans of soup left. It's making me very nervous. We were able to catch the military broadcast again. This time they're asking us to get out with a flashlight. I don't want that military ending! Should've gone spies. I mean, I, I can do that next time. I just, I want, I want the harder shit. The ending's like, it's fun getting the ending that you wanna get. So I'm gonna get it. I probably should've fed Dolores before I sent her out, but it said she's confident that she'll survive, so. I don't need my, I don't need my gas mask anymore, so I really want someone to come by and like offer to trade. During the night, we heard some suspicious sounds coming from our door. When we peeked out in the morning, we saw a leather suitcase. It has no address or name on it, but we're pretty sure it's meant for us. Should we open it? We've got a med kit, might as well. Open it, boy. Oh, he hurt himself. Dang it! The gift was booby-trapped. I had bad karma, I should have known. For an isolated fallout shelter, we sure have a lot of disturbances. Something has been making a lot of noise since dawn and we couldn't sleep. It seems to be coming from under the floor. And coincidentally, we just found a manhole. Okay. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and not give him the med kit today. In case something happens to him tomorrow, I'll give it to him tomorrow. Are you good? What happened down there? We got two waters. Pretty good. Dolores, what'd you get? You got a new can of poison and a new med kit. And a suitcase. Okay, we've got a lot of good stuff here. But I want to win. Wait, is Dolores okay? Dolores was hurt. Oh, no. We need our cat lady to stay safe. Oh, we thought it'd be a great idea to have some role-playing fun. Oh, well, have fun with him before he dies because I don't have a med kit for him. Day 70. We're gonna send Timmy out ASAP. Oh, no. Oh, we have so much water. We need to be able to trade it. Timmy can't go outside. One thing you don't expect is a band of people all dressed in green showing up at your doorstep, claiming they take from the rich and give to the poor. That's exactly what happened to us. Should we let those clowns in? No! No! I want that crazy cat lady ending! Where are the cats? Uh-oh. Like, we've got the gun in the padlock. I think we should be okay. Oh, this is a disaster! Please kill Timmy, I'm trying. I just like, I wanna know how to get more cats in here! It's day 70 already! Our situation is getting worse every day. We can see the hunger and desperation in each other's eyes. We know a teacher from a local school. Okay, we're not gonna rob teachers, we're fine actually. Like, we're actually fine. Actually. Are we fine? Oh man, I don't think we were fine and nobody can go outside. Okay, an axe for a boy scout book or a med kit for a gun. <sighs> we could use this gun for self-defense, but at the same time we, we, ha we have the padlock, so I think I might, I think I might get that med kit so I can keep sending Timmy out. It's our only chance. the trade and we're fixing Timmy. Timmy better not be dead today. We did it. Okay. Here we go. Got you a med kit, buddy. You're going outside. What? You see that? Happened to the kid here. Oh, Matt P. Thank you so much for the super chat. $40. I hope the ramen helps you feel better. Oh my goodness, it's so good, but it's like getting cold because I'm so frustrated with this game. We need some spare ammunition, but now we had some spare ammunition, but now it's gone. We don't know how or when. It must have been misplaced. We need to find it and soon. Sure. Mm. Day 75. This has been such a trek. And this cat is doing nothing good for me. All right. Nobody can go outside right now, but they're eating tomorrow, so I'm going to be able to send Timmy out soon. Government is still trying to contact us. I'm just like, I'm being so... <laughs> I don't just want to survive. I want to survive right. Riley Lasser, thank you so much for the super chat. Five dollars. Um, okay, so Timmy is back into good shape, but I can't send anybody out. Why? Out of the question, sending Dolores out is a death sentence. Oh, it's because... Wait, why? I just fed them yesterday. Didn't I? Interesting. We were able to catch the military broadcast again. They're asking us to get out with a flashlight and single... Okay, you know what? No, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. I'm being stubborn. Is this cat, like, gonna do anything? Okay, Timmy's in good health now. He's rested. We're sending him out. Thank God! Hopefully he comes back with all the soup that I need. Because I feel like I feel like you need a lot of soup in your bunker to get cats to come in. Alright, Timmy. I'm just gonna send Timmy in his lonesome. What's going on? Where'd the cat go? 
Where'd the cat go? I'm very confused. While outside, we found something resembling a fridge. We carried it, okay. Oh, 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 oh. We carried it eagerly to our shelter, thinking it'd make for a useful addition and a way to turn room temperature tomato soup into delicious ice cold tomato soup. Excited, we pressed a bunch of buttons, trying to find the co combination that, can make, that makes cold happen. While we were distracted, the cat ran past us and slid into the appliance. We tried luring it out, but it seems intent on staying in it. There are worse uses for a broken fridge than a cat house. Okay. I think this is gonna be the thing that gets the other cats and the crazy cat ending. Yes! Yes! Woo! There's two cats here! Yes! Sherikov continues to occupy the fridge. Meanwhile, another cat somehow entered our shelter when we were asleep and ate some of our soup. Okay, so we need more soup badly. Badly to get this ending. We tried throwing the new cat out, but its claws are just too sharp to argue with. Okay. Oh no, we need more soup so bad. Can we trade it? The wasteland is full of surprises, like this man on the other side of our door, knocking and claiming that he's willing to offer a lot for decent ammunition. Shall we trade? I mean, we don't have a gun anyway, so we might as well. But it doesn't say what he's offering, so I feel like I'm just gonna get robbed. I'm gonna do it anyway. Uh! Come on, my cat lady. My cat baby. Okay, so we got a soup. Good, good, good. Wait, what? Another cat showed up in the shelter. Another one. Ah! They're gonna eat my food before I can get out of here! Timmy needs to come back with food! And then we're gonna get the crazy cat lady ending! Please, Timmy, please come back! Please come back! Oh, please! Oh, they're gonna eat- Oh, no! I got an achievement, but it wasn't the crazy cat lady. What happened? We apologize for not being able to help at this time. Maybe we can find an axe soon and join the fun, but right now we have no way of helping these folks. Let's see what the very end. Feline domination. Well, on the bright side, this is one of the endings that I wanted. I just wanted to have enough soup to get that crazy cat lady ending! But we did end up getting one of the, and we did end up getting one of the new endings, which is what I wanted. I didn't want to do the spies one because it was too easy. Like, I felt like it was the easy way out and I heard that the cat ending one was hard, so I wanted to go for it, but um... Oh! That was uh, interesting. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the live stream, and uh, I will see you <laughs> later. I'm so sick, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna finish this ramen, probably gonna warm it up. Like, the noodles, like, sucked up all the soup. But I'm definitely gonna eat all of this. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed, and um, that's all for me, guys. Thank you for coming. I love you. Thank you to my mods. Thank you for my super chats. And thank you so much for everyone in the chat keeping me company. I will be on Discord later, and uh, I love you guys. Bye!